Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here doing a let's play at Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, gotta kind of, I kind of gotta apologize to you guys. Uh, at the beginning of this last I sort of intended to put out basically uh, 10 minutes of video like every day, but uh, it's not how it's been going with this uh, Pokemon let's play. Since I started Pikmin, I've kind of been distracted by it, so I do apologize for that. And uh, today I'm going to dedicate entirely to Pokemon to make up for that. So yeah, we're going to uh, pick up where we left off. Anyway, in the last episode we. Uh, Somehow got to do with the Safari Zone and what got the Warden's Teeth and Surf and Strength and all kinds of crazy stuff was happening. And things were flying everywhere and we don't even know. But anyway, uh, in this episode, we're back in Saffron City just like I said, and uh, this is the Self Company office building. Now, in the uh, midpoint of the game, I would say it's probably when you're about halfway through, there are three major things that you have to do. And the first is the Celadon City Game Corner. You have to go in that basement and. Uh, you know, beat the whole rocket team down there, and that will give you the, uh, let's see, what do you get from that? I forget. But, uh, I'm trying to think now. You get the self scope from that. And then once you get the self scope, you come over to the Pokemon Tower, and, uh, you ascend to that, and the self scope allows you to fight that ghostly Marowak, and once you get to the top of it, uh, Mount Mr. Fuji gives you the Poke Flute, which allows you to go to, to a future city. But, normally before you go to Fuchsia City, you're supposed to go back to Saffron City, because once you uh, get the Poke Flute and finish that up, you can come back to Saffron, and not only will the gym be open, but also the self, co self company office building is now open, and it's actually one of the like dungeons of the game, because you have to go through it and fight all the trainers in there. Now, I'm not actually going to fight all of them, but uh, I'm going to show you like a pretty quick way to get to the top. If you are just kind of in a hurry, or you don't really want to go through this because you've already leveled up your Pokemon all you want, or whatever, but anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into it at least. So we're down on the first floor. There's basically nothing here. Now the, the thing with this uh, dungeon is that makes it difficult is the number of teleporters around here. You're kind of like what teleporters? They're just uh, I think there's one right over here. Yeah, these little squares. Here we are on the second floor. I go into this little square and it teleports me up to the eighth floor. So you kind of just like, you can completely lose track of where you are, and what floor you're on if you're not careful. But, uh, oh, let's see if I remember this correctly. I think the first thing you want to do is go all the way up to the third floor. And then, is it over here? Let's see where this one goes. Um, that might not be right. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to figure this out. There's a real short path. I think you go from like the third floor up to the ninth floor, and then you get like a second floor. That's not what I wanted. Hmm, well, maybe it was this one over here after all. We'll figure it out. If I end up like aimlessly wandering, I will edit that out, because I know nobody, nobody really wants to watch that. Oh wait, maybe it's the fifth floor that we want to go to first. Let's see. Oh, you bitch! Ugh. He wasn't even looking around though, he was just looking there. Like, he, he wasn't... He didn't look like one of those trainers that would, that would hear you walking and look at you. Because he wasn't like standing there looking around, he was just facing down, so I figured that's where they had like positioned him. But apparently not. <sighs> Alright. This... Magneton doesn't have Earthquake. doesn't have Levitate, does it? No. We can hit it with Earthquake. There we go. Yeah. As you can see, the Pokemon here are much more correctly leveled to us. We're like slightly higher than them. As opposed to like the, the gym in uh, Fuchsia City where you're like level 40 something already. So we, we're gonna have, have to kind of uh, come back here and do a little more leveling. That's one of the reasons you're supposed to come here first, is because the Pokemon here are at lower levels. I'm just gonna throw Dr. Eggman out there against, against this uh, poison type. <laughs> but yeah, the whole self company building, like the only difficult part about it is trying to figure out where the heck you are when you go to the teleporters. And uh, there are all kinds of guidebooks and stuff out there with maps and that sort of thing. But like, I pretty much know this game well enough to like not really use a guidebook to play through. I mean, like, if I, I'm not really doing like, like I don't know if you guys have watched Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red, but if you haven't, I highly recommend that you watch his as well. Don't abandon me though. But uh, yeah, his Let's Play was amazing. Like he even had like little like bios of like new Pokemon that you could find in each area and that sort of thing. And that's just like that's that's spectacular. That's amazing. But I'm not doing I'm not doing stuff like that. I'm basically just doing like a, a bare bones kind of playthrough of the game. 
just to, you know, bulk up my, my Let's Playing uh, rep, just have another one under, under my belt. This is actually, like, the second Let's Play I started was this this game. So, I never finished the first one, I just decided I didn't like it enough to play through it the whole way, and record everything, and go through all that. But anyway, we'll continue exploring. Let's see, let's head down here. What we're looking for is these little these doors around here. No, it needs a car key! Yeah, we need to go find the card key. And I... Yeah, it's the fifth floor. Okay, so go to the third floor and go left. Go through the teleporter. Go up to the fifth floor, go past that guy up there, and come to this teleporter. Go in it, and then... And go back in it and walk over here. Oh wow. Uh, more fights. Not required fights. I don't know. I might edit this guy out. He's probably gonna be just have. No, he's only got one. I'll leave him in. No big deal. Hmm. Man, I just have like this predicament. I never can remember how poison and ground interact. Like I just cannot. I cannot seem to recall that information. No matter how many times I get into fights like this. <laughs> Sad. What the heck was that? Is that all? That's all the damage it did? What the heck? That's 75 damage, plus the same type of attack bonus, and the fact that Rhinoc has, like, massive attack. And it did, like, that much damage against a frail Pokemon like Arbok? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Alright, anyway, walk past this guy and head to the right, and look what we found! It's the card key. Oh my god, it's amazing. Alright, now, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go check. I was, and here I am, I was just bragging about, like, how I don't need a guidebook or whatever to get through here, but I really don't feel like wandering around here on camera and just, like, looking like a complete idiot. But, uh, I'm gonna go glance at that guidebook and look at a map of this place, and I'll come back with some neat information for you guys. Okay, um, actually what I wanted to show you was on the ninth floor, so I was already pretty close to it. Okay, yeah, look, look at that. Bingo, the card key opened the door. Yeah, the card key will bingo every door, and, uh, just walk right around. Pretty much anywhere you want to go. And, uh, there's a guy down here, but I don't want to have to fight him. Ugh, man. So there's the four Rocket Brothers. Yeah, I've only ever been able to find, like, two of these guys. And I I've gone through this place and fought every single person before. And, like, at max, I counted two Rocket Brothers. So I think that the other two must be, like, at a different base or something, because they're not here. Rock slide. Look at that. It's a little more like it. Alright, and we get a whole... Wow, that's a lot of experience there for that one. Level 33. Alright. Yeah, we'll change. It's sort of messy out there. I really need to get, like, Crate and Rhinoc up so they can learn their new HMs, because I've got Fly and I've got Strength, and I can use both of them. I just need to get those Pokemon to high enough levels so that I can... Uh, excuse me, not what am I doing? Not strength, cut. When Rhinoc evolves into Rye, Rye Horn, evolves into Rye Dom, then it can learn cut. And I'm waiting for to uh, for Crate to evolve into Dragon Dragon uh, Dragonite, so that it can learn uh, Fly, <laughs> which are probably the two like most useful items in the game would be uh, Fly and Cut, and neither one of them are available to me yet. So it's kind of like hmm. Alright. Let's see. Dragon Ridge. Hmm hmm hmm. He flinched. Alright, we'll take him out with Dragon Ridge. Beautiful. Good job, great. Alright, and we defeated a grunt. Yeah, warg! Did you see what he said? He said warg. Anyway, here on the ninth floor, you can access this from the stairs. All you have to do is go up one stair and then up the next. And go down here to open the card door with the card key, and there's this lady here sitting next to these beds. And if you talk to her, she'll have sex with you. No, I'm just kidding. She'll, uh, let you take a nap. <clears throat> a nap in one of her beds. And she motivates you. Anyway, uh... Let's see. Where do we want to go now? Let's go back to the third floor. I was gonna hike down the stairs. <laughs> and yeah, if you if you want all the HMs, not HMs, but all the TMs and all the recovery items and stuff like that that are in this place, you're gonna have to basically like fight everybody and just like wander around. And it's gonna take a, quite a while to, to to get everything like completed in here. 
But uh, you, if, you, if you're gonna do that, you've got to do it now, like before you start, uh, like the final like end scene of, of the game. Like once you, uh, not the game, but of this base. Because once you once you finish that up, then uh, all the enemies in here are gone. So uh, I think we need to go down. But uh, I don't want to think about time to fight this guy. So uh, in the next episode, we will continue going through the self-company office building, and we will get to the top and beat this place. I'll see you then.